Wednesday and we're just after washing out the rats of the combine there. Yeah, uh, wash them out, that's why the uh, Bowser's on. But um hopefully you won't be any for anything But um I'm just going around now to just open up uh, the gap into the next field, just knock back the edges so that we can get through without having to take off the combine head. Back down into the yard, hop up on the big square baler. Well I have to do a bit with it. We can't hop and get bailing and can't get cut. Yeah. Just have to widen up the hole down here. They're just heading up to start cutting. I had to do a little job on the, that blue trailer to get sorted. And also a lot of people have been asking about the blue trailer. How come we never used it before? It belonged to my father's friend and um, we bought that and we bought a few hairs and other bits and bobs. And um, yeah, so that's where that come from. I think it's a Richard Western, I think. I'm not sure, but it's a green trailer anyways. So they're gone up with that. The Red Rock, <laughs> Red Rock has another few holes to get patched up. So, um, it's all oh, we'll get it done later on with a bit of pressure on now to get what we have at the house 30 acres cut it's the only bit that's ready at the minute there's rain coming tomorrow and it's sporadic we might get some we might not and that's the rain kind of into the week so yeah it's a little annoying but anyways there's the first load of stuff now the bit of ooh, the stuff you see is a bit of water we had to sweep it out earlier um so not ideal but just when eric washed out there they brought in a bit of muck and then we had to wash the inside of the shed again and my father wanted to put this side over the other side so but this is what we're cutting look at the size of that barley just look at the size of it it's a huge grain of barley massive grain of barley so it is now, i don't know how we're yielding at the minute there's no later on it's a massive grain of barley coming out clean moisture 12 and a half percent or is it 12.7 12% anyways, you could say, 13. Never seen it as dry. Never, ever, ever. Best I think ever seen was 15.9, 16%. Crazy stuff. Anyways, time to go get the big square baler. Right over to the house, I got to fill the auto greaser, oil the knotters, oil the chains, grease, so my 100 bale grease nipples. And also we have to get bro up there with the 6480 to start gathering bales too. There's a lot going on for a Sunday too. And a barbecue for two o'clock, so it's grand, great. Anyways, you hand this lovely outfit. I have to just double check, consult the operator's manual about the 100 bale grease points. If I can find it, 1000 bales, 250 bales. There we go, 100 bales. Go do the stuffer clutch, sprocket and stuffer clutch. Now so find that grease nipple and grease the tube and then the rest are on 250 so they don't need to be done yet so that's fine so yeah make sure i bring this with me because that is the go-to that is the bale and bible so it is for that job is the grease point <laughs> take grease I got all done there, oil greased, all done, got some grease into the auto greaser. Need to get a better way of doing it. I had to take the, the greasing unit off the fusion and I was able to use that to push it in but the treads were wrong for that quick fill. But well, I got done eventually, but it took a bit of going. But um, anyways, however, it looks like we have spectators up here too. So I better get bailing. So um, yeah, we'll get the bail injector down, we'll get all sorted and we'll get working away just make sure no one changed my settings no they didn't press one that's good press that constant flow and on baler 
Let's get some beers made before the barbecue is ready. Oh. Mine is emptying away there. On the move. No rest for the wicked. See how all happens. Something also that was said, you need to get a reversing camera because you cannot see behind you. I'm going to put down the camera, we're going to get lots of bales done and we'll probably pick it up after the barbecue, after dinner. So just had the barbecue and this is the new arrival on the farm, Nelly. Picked her up last night or this morning, whichever. So this is the new puppy. Isn't that right? She's, alone, I'm sleeping. <laughs> she's fast asleep there. So she is a great little dog. Anyways, we get better get back up here and get another bit caught. What do you think? <laughs> Gone now. Can't really see it on camera, but there is what you call it? A what? A willow wisp going across the field there. The straw has been picked up. It's not a whole lot now, so it's not going to disturb the roads too much. It isn't going to leave live with a job, but uh, no, I gotta do a bit of fixing now. I've dropped a knot. Right, have fun. So, just before we quit for the barbecue. I um, dropped the knot and dropped the twine, so I've dropped the bottom twine. So I just put stuff in the cab and we get back to it. So we get in underneath here. Lovely and dusty. <coughs> Tractor is off. Uh, so this is what's gone wrong now. That. I don't know. Is it not? Oh, it's pulling. I don't know what happened there then. Anyways, I have to get this. It's still. Look, you don't have to tread it too much. Just have to get it up into that and then tie it back to something so that it'll not. The next bail I make isn't going to have a twine. And there is how it should be. So when you're down here, you know how way it has to go. That's handy, anyways. So, you gotta just tread it in. Could have been where I was, I had a square knot tied and it come apart going through the system. Dusty. In here. Yeah. I hit the dust. Ah. Ah. Dust. But we're ready to go again. Oh, the dust, the dust, the dust. this up. I'll take this side. Everything is another roll gone. Everything seems fine there. Right, what do you feel? <laughs>
trees on top of the hill so I have the door open and just coming in it's just oh so nice Ro is um, over there buying the drone at the minute so everything is going grand at the minute company is absolutely buying it Got some footage there of under the panels, the knockers going and uh, the chain and all that going. And it is something else. So it is something else to look at. Um, one of the things that doesn't really get, uh, well put in it, it should, uh, from what I've seen, the stuff recycled was going continuously, which is what you want. Constantly. And then the headlands then, when there was nothing going in, there wasn't enough stuff going in to pressurize the door. So it's only going, as there's enough pressure to make it cycle. That's what that dot flashing is for. Um, then the knockers as well. Just how fast them knockers go through the whole tie tie bang as done. It's crazy, so it is absolutely crazy. So um yeah. I hopefully it'll be a bit slow mode there and you've seen it really well but a bit of magic in how the big square bailer works. It's going well for me. Bar that little issue with they uh, drop the, the string and the knot, uh, it's going fine, absolutely fine. So hopefully it stays that way. I, uh, how many bales have I made so far? 51 bales made so far. And I have feck all of the field bales. Feck all. But we lost stuff off this. But anyways, we keep moseying away. Uh, Uncle Liam wants to see a bit in the cab. And me, see I'm going to video however we get done today. And then I'll video finishing up tomorrow when there's a bit of rain promise as well. So you know, it gives an old catchy title and that. But, um, Fat uncle, uncle Ian wants to say a bit on the camera, so we'll get in the cab with him at some stage. But I think for today, it's just going to be mostly about the big square bailer and whatever I get up to, unfortunately. But I will try in the future of maybe giving the camera the father feel or get brought to go around everyone or whatever, just try and get that a little bit more, make it that a little bit more interesting. Anyways, everything is going pretty good at the minute. So, seeing that now, Uncle Ian has stopped. Now, a sign you want to see. So I just went round the field there, then into the next bit, and um, there's no one here, and everything is up. Never a great sign, so that's not. Combine could do a bit of a wash too. Now oh, the birds Shahana for the winter hasn't um, done any favours. So what does be the problem? There's a nice sized rock now. I would say that is what, yeah, there it is there. Yeah, uh, that's it. It's taken off the knife and it's twisted up that. You can see, or is it bent down this? Mm, no, it's this is down. That's down. That's the straw. That's taken off one blade. And, oh, actually, that could have been there. Oh. I've done a bit of damage. The uh, rest of it looks okay. Just one down there. Hmm, that one looks okay. I'd say, yeah, that's what that is. That was there. That broke. They popped on this one. That one's sitting down a bit too much. That's where they're going. It must be gone to get it. And yeah, that was the bio that done the bother. That's annoying. No, no harm done. So I just. It took. It bent that and broke it. Broke it and broke that, it. That's it there. Yeah. And what are you going to get? They're down to get the chisel just to put up them. Oh, to pull them up either. Yeah. Running too tight on that. Yeah. Move back on the section then to saw. That's all. Could be ready worse. to go again. Huh? Could be worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not the end of the world. Everything is going good though. Pierce dusty. Yeah. Bear on my head. Oh, yeah, that's your look. I have nearly 100 bales made now. I haven't, have I half the field done? No. No. Uncle Ian is going again. And the dust, just to look at the dust, right? I don't know how well you can see it on the camera. But the dust is rising off him. And he working away there at the cab, the door open. And he's as happy as Ari with a foot of dust on his shoulders. Right now he sticks up, but oh no, he's getting on fierce well there now. He doesn't have too much more to do. I don't have too much more to do. I'm really. Driving round with my baby, tough drops and raindrops.
steps Motion got me all faded, my heart Got me going all crazy and I Won't be walking away, yeah New York in the sunshine, I'm a fool, yeah I got my love blind, and am fool, yeah I got my heart out, and it's covered in gold Like moonlight, I'm a Hollywood, and it's cool, yeah Cause you know it's good, oh baby We'll never get old stopped again I don't know what's wrong uh, I am absolutely hauling ass here doing just under seven kilometers an hour going up another gear Baylor is taking it in its stride again my flakes down to 21 flakes 20 flakes a bit so really parsing through it now so I'll have to hop it in my no time I'm uh, quite literally I think three swords from having fully caught up on the on the combine. I think at that stage I'll go get the tractor and loader and I'll start hauling bales out of here. The sky has kind of got a little bit black. No wind forecast till tomorrow and tomorrow it's gonna be hit and miss whether we get some or not get some or oh gonna be one of these edgier seen moments trying to see how much we can get done before it eventually rains. Why I keep hauling ass here we catch up with the combine and then um, see what's wrong. I think putting all the bales into twos just to make it easier for loading them. 
That is the field bale, rose fundament stacks of five, 174. On the field? Yeah. 174? Yeah. Oh man, 174. 174, that's how many times the knocker went. So what was the yield like? Uh, I touch it on with four ton. Just over four ton? Just over four ton. Well, that's good. 10.8 bales square bales square bales very very happy with that would have been over 200 rounds on that oh, they could have been 220 or 230 yeah. I remember getting 250 on a one year no 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 no. what was the most we got off of? Uh, about 190 I think 190 remember the year we got about 40 off it the year the the, oh, yeah, the, the, the ploughing match was cancelled <laughs> the wind came <laughs> and our straw went that way <laughs> the whole field the whole field we had, Nothing left. We rode up what was there, and I think we got 30 or 40 we, bales. It was we, the, did, we didn't get the rain, but we got the wind. Yeah, it was the year the, the ploughing match got yeah, blew away. The year the ploughing match blew away, and uh, we, had, we had some of a bale, we were 30 or 40. Yeah. Bale. Well, yeah, we did have some yeah, of a bale. Yeah. Bale, but the middle of it got wet or something, and we had to leave it. It was, it was down in a couple of days, and it was gone fierce weather. There was rail out, white, white straw. Yeah. And we came up back. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing there. Oh, you, uh, a lot of the, the hedge, hedge. The hedge. The hedge was just covered in straw. Covered in straw. Blew it off the top of it. It's, it's very exposed. Yeah. Well, it's, it's up on a high, high bit of ground. Well, it's a nice well, breeze long, coming in there, so there is. Oh, 174. Well. 174. So, I'm after stopping with Robert there. Robert then Waiting for pairing. Head off home with himself. So he can. So. John in the 6290 with the Richard Rester and I'm loading on the go something I haven't done in a very long time very long time so now I have to keep a close eye on this I don't think he watches what he's doing on that end Phil says you could be a little bit back in this field. He says the head just isn't as long as what was on the top field. But I'm not sure we'll wait and see. So Father Phil is in the yard, he's shoving up and playing in the shed with the teleporter, keeping the grain out of the way. So for those of you are wondering why is there a panel missing because when they start I'm pretty sure I said at the start of the video they had a steering pipes bust just underneath the cab and to get at them that panel had to come off and of course they never put back on the panel and where is the panel but where the combine was so yeah that's not going to get sorted anytime soon and that's the combine tank just about empty
so now that is it the straw has gone damp there's bro coming back down it must be have all the bales gathered up up there but well, straw has gone damp the baler the pressure settings in the baler can let me know the the damper the stuff going through it the lower the pressure up on the hill i was getting up to 1200 last bit of stuff i bailed there was back down at 200 100 last bit was 90 so it's damp when it comes to the grain that's not going to matter too much at 12 percent even with the dew it's still going to come in at i can't say any more than 18 percent which is fine on a normal year we get 18 we're in business it's amazing to get that 12 anyways that's it for today's video i'm going to go to the canal and jump in to get the dust off me because it is absolutely eating me alive so it is eating me alive anyways hope you enjoyed today's video as always videos every tuesday thursday and sometimes i'll fit in the sunday video till we get back into a bit of a quieter time probably after the slurry ban and we might get to fixing up a few yokes and vintage tractors and whatnot but anyways hope you enjoyed today's video this is what we'll be at now on and off for the next couple of weeks the first bit of 240 acres of tillage to be cut keep in mind though that 20 acres of that is maize and beans so 220 acres of this to be cut next thing we will be cutting will most likely be um whole crop and, and our second cut silage maybe more winter barley we'll have to wait and see what the weather does but anyways that is it for me please like and subscribe to the channel good luck i'm waiting to do this all day haven't we bro that we have hello there Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> oh my god, it's really warm. It is really warm. When say, brother? Oh, it's nice.